we're starting to see more and more rumors coming out of the mill for the Z Fold 5, for the Flip 5, and also for the Galaxy Tab 9 series. Today, however, I'm gonna be talking to you specifically about the Z Fold 5. Hey guys, it's George, and you're watching the Tech Owners Club. Today we're going to be talking about Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 rumors which are heating up into full-blown official renders leaked from Samsung giving us the first glimpse of what the Z Fold 5 might look like. Publisher My Smart Price has revealed what the Z Fold 5 looks like in the first of the official render leaks. I think given the rumors and the leaks, it's safe to say that the Fold 5 will look a lot like the Fold 4. Prolific leaker Ice Universe has also actively gone out of his way to say on Twitter, do not upgrade to the Fold 5, skip it and wait for the Z Fold 6, which is quite a controversial opinion. Whereas Android Authority, on the other hand, are saying this is the biggest design change since the lineup's inception. I'm gonna pump the brake on that assertion for just a few moments. I mean, short of a huge change in the screen size or the aspect ratio or some of the core mechanisms of the phone, I think it's a bit bold and perhaps controversial to say that this is the biggest change, especially given how much it changed in those first couple of generations. All the rumors and leaks from all of the different outlets and leakers suggest a very similar three camera setup up on the back so you're not going to see any kind of four or five camera systems like you get with the flagship S23 or S22 Ultra lineups and they also all say that there's going to be similarly sized screens both on the outside and the inside. You may remember the Fold 4 was a hit because the outside screen or the external screen uh, had a big jump in width and reduction in the bezels which made it a worthy upgrade from the Z Fold 3. The only notable change that seems to be consistent in all the rumors is the introduction of a teardrop style hinge, which whilst that might just be a marketing term, actually could mean the removal or reduction of the crease on the main inside screen. As a Fold 4 owner and daily driver, I must say the crease, whilst obviously it exists and it's there, it never bothers me in day-to-day -day use. Now that doesn't mean it wouldn't be a bad thing to reduce or remove it, but I don't think it should be top of Samsung's priority list, especially when you consider that we're still dealing with this under display camera, which as let's be honest, terrible quality. In terms of color schemes, the Fold 5 is rumored to come in some form of beige, black, and light blue color options, though I'm sure Samsung will put a marketing spin on each of the names of those colors. There will also likely be a further three exclusive colors. Now that could be exclusive to the online store or that could be exclusive to in-store purchases. Something else that's apparently new and kind of consistent across all the rumors is the thickness of the device. So it's expected that there will be a couple of millimeters shaved off here and there from the device, which in the foldable form factor makes a huge difference as whilst these are unfolded, they're pretty competitive with regular candy bar style flagships. When it's folded, it's still considerably thicker than most phones. Bezels may shrink as well, which would be a welcome addition. It certainly made a huge difference between the Fold 3 and the Fold 4. There are also finally rumors of the Fold 5 getting that much anticipated dust resistance rating. Now the Fold 4 has water resistance rating of IPX8, with the eight being the number that designates how water resistant it is. But that X really is the missing number for the dust rating. So the rumor so far is that the Fold 5 could come with an IP. 58 rating, which would mean that it has some level of dust resistance, certainly more than the previous phones in the lineup. Now with foldables, that is certainly a good thing because as someone that uses the Fold 4 as a daily driver, small pieces of dust and lint definitely do get under the hinges here. And what that means is after a while, your phone struggles to open completely flat. For the S Pen enthusiasts out there, unfortunately, it still does not look like there will be a port or silo, as some people call it, for the S Pen. So it will still be something you need to carry separately or have in a case attached to your phone. I'm curious to know that how many of you actually use the S Pen on a regular or daily basis? Uh, it's something that I enjoy using, but I also do think it's a little bit of a gimmick. Um, but then again, I'm not a digital designer or an artist. So let me know in the comments if the S Pen is a huge deal to you. Other rumors, uh, well, not so much a rumor, Samsung has confirmed that the release state will be late July this year instead of August, which has previously been for the last few generations of the Fold lineup. So that's good. We could be getting the next versions of the phone early. There are some rumors suggesting that the Fold 5 will finally get a much upgraded main camera system. So although it will still be three cameras, 
Some of the rumors suggest it could be as high as a 108 megapixel for the main lens, although other rumors suggest it could still be rocking the 48 to 15 megapixel range. Beyond the main camera, I think it's safe to expect that we will also get a 12 megapixel ultra wide as well as a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. And finally, one of the best rumors, which I do hope comes true, is the pricing. It's expected that the Z Fold 5 will launch at around 1799 US dollars instead of 1899 US dollars, so it's about $100 cheaper this year. So fingers crossed that room is true. I think a discount on these extremely expensive flagships will be a good thing for everyone. And with regards to specs, I'm sure we will see some iterative updates in terms of the Snapdragon processor, in terms of maybe the RAM, screen brightness, and things like that. When more of that information becomes a little bit more solid and concrete, we'll be sure to let you know. I've been George. This has been the Owners Club. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.